Hey there guys, welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome to a little cheeky challenge video. Today I'm going to use a spinning wheel of all of the shapeshifter cards that are currently packable in FIFA 22 and whatever name it lands on, I have to buy that card, fit it into my team and play some games of foot champs with it. Now as a point of interest, there's a couple of cards that I simply can't afford. Messi, I'm fairly sure is still extinct. Sun, I think is about 4 million. I have 2 million coins. I really hope we get someone I can afford. <laughs> but I think without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see the spinning wheel. Well, actually, before we do, it's a quick word from uh, today's video sponsor. Do you need some more coins for your FIFA Ultimate Team? Then look no further than U7 Buy. They're the cheapest and most reliable place to get your FIFA Ultimate Team coins. And if you use code HURSTY at checkout, you'll get yourself an extra discount. I want to say a massive thank you to U7 Buy for sponsoring us. Don't forget that code HURSTY. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, so here it is. Here is the list of all of the current packable players uh, for this Shapeshifters Team 1. I'm going to hit spin and whatever it lands on, we have to go with it. What I'll also say is, you know what? I'll try and use them in an attacking position. So I'll try and make them striker. Regardless of what position it is in game, they will run as striker. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and hope for somebody either good or just that I can afford. Would be quite nice. There's two players I'd really like to try. Uh, hopefully we can get one of them. Uh, and you know what? St. Just is one of them. Boys, I will take that. A, I can afford him. And B, it's a decent little card. I'm actually really surprised at how cheap he is as well. But hey, St. Just is a dub. I'm happy to try this card. Well, I've managed to pick one up here. Uh, I've picked him up for 67.5k. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. This one's got a shadow on him, which is possibly the most pointless thing I've ever seen. He has 99 pace. Why would somebody do that? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Because I'm running him at striker, I'm putting a dead eye on this card. Or I might do something that maybe ups the dribbling a little bit. But mate, this card is going to be sick. And now I've just got to somehow fit him into my team. Okay, here's what I'm currently rocking. Uh, I'm using Milinkovic Savage at the moment because Philippe Anderson is so, so good and I just want to have him in the team. Uh, but yeah, let's work it out. Let's fit St. Justin. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, um, it, it wasn't very hard at all. I honestly completely forgot because I've not used him in so long that I had 90 Hullet. That was very easy to fit in. <laughs> okay, so I've got a Dutch manager in now. So he's on 10 chem. I think it's really good what it's done to his stats. Uh, obviously, the shooting's going to be nice and high now. His penalties are 99 now. If I get a penalty, I know who's taking it. Uh, but the agility is up at 99. The balance is now above 90 as well. The dribbling's at 99. I'm looking forward to trying this guy out. I'm a little bit nervous. Obviously, I've decided to do it in foot champs. But uh, yeah, hopefully, we can do the business. Okay, now it's time to try him out. Let's get into our first game. Okay, game number one for my foot champs, but also using the St. Just card. And it's a pretty decent team. Uh, there's some upgradable players in there. Fafana sticking out like a bit of a sore thumb. But hey, hopefully St. Just can make the most of that because that's the centre-back he's going to be coming up against as my left striker. All right, let's get the ball straight to him. Let's see what he's about. Go on, St. Just, my dude. Little ball roll. Takes it past Davies. Lovely. Now he is left-footed. I don't know if his main card is, but this card is. Oh, what a start that would have been. First chance from him. It's off the post. That would have been incredible. Eusebio. Nice. Takes it past one. Cruyff. Find St. Just. Oh, the little fake shot. It was like a little late shot cancel there. I've got, I'm just trying too hard to get it to St. Just. I've tried too hard to get it to him. Left foot. No, Tom. He's got four star. Just used his right. Oh, lovely ball there from Cruyff. And St. Just is just through here. We're going to bang that with his left foot. Oh, it's gone wide. Bro. Oh, I'm disappointed. St. Just again on the ball. Going to take it past Puyol here. Put it onto his left. Try finesse. Oh, it's in off the bar. It's taken a little while to get one, but we have finally got our first goal with St. Just. It, it felt like it's been coming, but at the same time, it felt like he was missing some pretty straightforward chances. Cruyff going to just take it past Puyol. Now we've got to wait for him to be back on side. He is, but Puyol's, Puyol's battered him for pace there. Cruyff on the ball. Looks at the overlap here from Eusebio. Can my ex-centre-back... Oh, well, it's gone nowhere near him. Oh, St. Just picks up a, a bit of a loose ball there. Wins a tackle. Takes a strike on his left. I think that was going over. I, I'm trying, obviously, a lot to get shots with him. And it's... I don't know. I'm not overly convinced yet. I'm starting to see maybe why he's a little bit cheaper. In game, it doesn't really feel like he matches his stats very much. Cruyff. Back out to Neymar. Now, I just need St. Just in space. He's got the space. Hit it first time. Oh, it was definitely second time, Tom. But another good save from Allison. St. Just. Going to just try and slowly walk forward here. I'm going to try it as weak foot. I want, well, well, I'm going to try and try it as weak foot. He has got the chance. Right foot. Hey, you know what? That was a good finish from St. Just. That was a good finish. That almost felt better than some of his strong foot shots. That's odd, but it's the truth. It felt better than his left foot did. 
Neymar. Saint Just has got to be away here from Puyol. Oh, I have just dinked it over him. I did the little click the right stick in. Just dink it just above him. I said if we get a penalty, I'll give him a go. We are going to indeed do that. I'm going to aim to this top right here. And I'm going to green time it, hopefully. Oh, man. The power behind that is unreal. Alisson getting nowhere near it. And I think three goals all from St. Just. That's enough. That's all she wrote. One game, three goals from St. Just. A 10 out of 10. Love to see it. Let's get into game number two. Let's keep trying them out. Lovely stuff so far. Okay, game number two. Uh, a very, very good squad. This is a very nice squad. Uh, this is going to be a much tougher game, I think, looking at the team. Uh, I think I said that I'm really enjoying St. Just. And I am. I am really enjoying the card. But there's definitely, as I said, a couple of like a couple of things that maybe he just doesn't quite feel fantastic I i'm thinking he's probably going to be a very good like wide cam or like a, a winger but i i don't think he's particularly suited to striker and that's probably down to me playing him at striker i've only got myself to blame i'll try that i was gonna say those sort of finesses edge of the box sort of thing right now are are definitely uh flavor of the month but i was maybe a little bit far out there to try it so just nice little turn there. The dribbling feels decent. It's, oh, well, I say that and then I immediately run into trouble, but the dribbling doesn't feel too bad. Um, I need to try a little bit more just left stick dribbling and maybe a little bit R1 dribbling just to sort of try both of those out because those are two that I, I tend to sort of mainly go to. And I haven't really tried them out on too much, uh, especially the R1 dribbling. Uh, I'll give those a go when I get a chance. Nice pass there. Is St. Just on side? He is? Okay. Bit of R1 dribbling. Mentioned it before. I have run into trouble, but he's got the physicality to just power through it. And that's his first assist. It's not a goal for St. Just, but it is an assist. And the R1 dribbling definitely uh, helped out a little bit, as did what I think is basically going to be his physicality stats. His physicality is through the roof, because obviously he is a centre-back that's playing as a as a striker or a right winger. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to come into play a couple of times. But St. Just with a finesse edge of the box. I'm not a big fan of his finesses. I don't think his finesse shots are that fantastic. I might try a few sort of non finesses and see if i prefer them but his finesse shots don't feel don't feel incredible I'm gonna try and play a ball through here to saint just he's not that quick oh but he has won the ball back i have tried another finesse his finesses aren't great that that i think is why i'm struggling with him a little bit and the, the few things i'm not enjoying loads his finesses aren't fantastic um and i play a lot of finesse shots I think that's the big issue. I need I literally said I wasn't enjoying his finesse shots and then played another one. I think it's because for me, that goes in. That is a finesse shot that goes in. If I'm using Di Maria, if I'm using Insigne, if I'm using Neymar, Cruyff, Eusebio, any of the other players that I sort of try out, I think that goes in. And that's his strong foot as well. To not hit the target there isn't great. Saying just the speed to just take it past his man. And again, just blitzing past them. I have tried to shoot, but I'm a little bit far out wide to try that now. St. Just here. Edge of the box. Going to try a regular shot. Donnarumma couldn't catch it. Uh, it's a good save in the end. But yeah, I am I think that's the only issue. I, I think I'm ignoring the fact that I've had loads of chances with him. And I'm paying attention to the fact that we've scored quite a lot of goals with him. But the amount of chances we've had to the goals he scored isn't isn't a great return for you know a striker in your team. You'd want, you'd want a better conversion rate uh, for, for a striker. But St. Just again, pulled out wide. It's a good save again, uh, but it's a little bit near to Donnarumma. St. Just, oh, I dummied sort of playing it out wide there to Neymar. Oh, I couldn't quite get it uh, inside to try the shot there with St. Just, but he finds good positions. Position-wise, I can't knock him at all. Gets gets great chances. It's, uh, it's converting them. That's the problem. Ah, oh, that's an annoying goal to concede. That is an annoying goal to concede. He's not had loads of chances, but... My lack of converting chances has, has bit me in the backside, boys. Simple as that. Well, half time in the second game. And I think the I've said it a lot of times, his, his shooting issues have become more apparent in this game. I think they were a little bit more disguised by the fact that we did convert a lot in the first game. But yeah, I, it's not that he's bad, but I'm definitely noticing the slight flaws in his shooting. Um, and his, his left foot doesn't, doesn't feel like his main foot, which isn't great. Uh, maybe I need to try some more weak foot chances and see if it's maybe a bug by EA and his right foot is actually better because that that could be it. It wouldn't surprise me that that is something EA have done by accident is is mess up a player's strong foot. Oh, it's a chance. This ain't just his. What is wrong with this? I don't understand, boys. I actually don't understand. I'm sorry, but his shooting with the boosts and stuff given to him are really high. And he hit that so wide. It wasn't even close. Cruyff to St. Just. 
He's through. Pull it on. Oh, I just wanted to pull it on to, honestly, either foot. I just wanted him to have a chance there, but he's he's bottled it. But he's won this one back. Left foot. That's better. Where's where's that been for the last couple of chances? That's so much better. That's four goals and an assist in two games now. That's a that's a better shot, but it's it's too few and far between. It's too inconsistent for my liking. Uh, it's his right foot. I've chipped it. It wasn't a bad idea if I just put a bit more power in it. I think that's in, but oh, man, I, I'm so torn. I I want to really like this card, but the inconsistencies are are too apparent. And just again, left foot. Oh, it's a good tackle. It's a good, good tackle. I I'm noticing something I do like about him, and I think I've said it before, is the physicality. Okay, well, hopefully that's that's a win. Hopefully I've not been DC'd. Hopefully that's a win, because I am winning 2-1. A 9.8 rating. It's not quite the 10 you got in the first game. Uh, but like I say, I definitely noticed a few more errors this time around, and a few more inconsistency, and it did count as a win. Thank God. Okay, so my overall view of this card, my overall thoughts, uh, the shooting stats are lies. Uh, simple as that. The attack positioning, I can get down with that. I think his attack positioning is pretty good. Uh, the general stats, though, I'm not a fan. Something I didn't really pay attention to is 82 curve. That's something that maybe is down to me. I maybe should have looked at that. But I wanted the agility and balance up as well. Uh, I'm fairly sure there isn't a card that does shooting, passing, and dribbling. Uh, if so, that would be perfect for him. Uh, the physicality doesn't need anything. Um, he's a very, very physical striker. Uh, he, he does tackle like a defender. So like the amount of times I, I re-won the ball back sort of in their half uh, because his his sort of stand tackling and stuff felt really good. Um, so that's something that's pretty pretty beneficial. I'd imagine he would be really good as like a wide cam that comes back on defense or a, or a right mid that comes back on defense. Um, but yeah, the, the shooting inconsistency is a problem for me. That's that's the big problem with this card. Four goals and an assist in two games is nothing to you know turn your nose up at at all. But um, yeah, I do think it's a small shame that it felt like an inconsistent card. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do leave a like on it. Supports me, the video, and the channel out a whole bunch. Make sure you hit the sub button as well and turn notifications on to be told any time that we upload a video. If you want to catch on our live streams, it's Hersey Games over on Twitch. The link is down below. And while you're down there, again, make sure you check out u 7 by Thank you again for working with us. I really appreciate it. Code Hersey gets you a cheeky discount. But for now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You've been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourself. And of course, wash what? your hands. Nah, nah, his in a bit. Name is Hirsty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me bang top bins it'll probably hurt you ginger streamer platform youtube drop a name in the chat or say hello entertain yeah you already know capital h yeah i'm a read it slow hursty games yeah you already know